Greetings sailors and welcome to I think the third part of this UA Dreadnoughts somewhat impromptu series still waiting for mods to catch up with cyberpunk I absolutely haven't forgotten about that and uh, yeah as you can hear there's a cat in the background who might be a little more disruptive than usual because I need him to wee in a box and he doesn't want to wee in the box he wants to go outside but if I let him go outside he'll wee outside and therefore won't wee in the box yeah. <laughs> there is an actual reason I, I need him to uh, wee in a certain receptacle so I can collect a sample for the vet, basically, because he's been having... Uh, I think I've mentioned this previously. He's been having uh, issues with either his kidneys or his bladders, possibly, uh, like, crystals in his bladder or something like that. We don't know. So he was on, like, two weeks of meds. But now I need to get a sample of wee so they can analyse it and see if that's done the trick or if he needs some other kind of medication or treatment so yeah it, it's not just some weird thing of well it would i don't even know how you would explain that that statement of needing a cat to wee in a box um <laughs> anyway right we have a convoy we can attack but good lord there is a battle cruiser nearby and we've got a light cruiser and two destroyers but we'll try it anyway we'll give it a go and see what the uh, the outcome is. I might be able to get close in enough with my destroyers to actually uh, do something to that battle cruiser. Uh, the destroyers, I mean they're pretty cheap and they don't take long to build so it might be worth doing that. And we'll also have to hope we don't get the usual issues that we've had, or not usual, but the issues that we've had with um, the, uh, the, 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 the the path thing getting all snarled up which is uh, yeah kind of annoying there was a comment under was it the first video or the second video I can't remember if it was the first video I've probably already addressed it but saying that in the, the 105 beta it's uh, been addressed but I don't know if addressed means fixed necessarily but we do have plenty of uh, Torps on these. Like, the destroyers are probably the best of the auto generated designs that the game gave me. And the rest of the ships I'm none too impressed with, although the, the cruisers are not bad. They certainly have a, a very nice amount of six inch firepower. But, uh, yeah. I still wouldn't have exactly designed them that way. I do prefer a bit more speed with the. Uh, things if possible. Right, no sign of the enemy yet. But destroyers you tend not to see until you're basically right on top of them. This is the era before radar of course. There we go. Uh, we have got tops on these cruisers. Yes we do. Um, do I... We might actually have the destroyers um, It depends how long the torpedoes take to reload, I suppose. We don't necessarily have to take down the battle cruiser, but it would be sure nice if we could. Right, these are somewhat armed. Yes, Sam, we can hear you in the background. Right, if I just want that one to oh, put out torpedoes and then say off. Oh, that one hasn't launched its torps. Although we actually might have that one launch its torps at that guy. Be nice if you could get them to only launch, like if you could command them to only launch. Uh, uh, it's like some of their launchers and not all of their no launchers. Well, that's some pretty effective hits. Uh, downside is there's now going to be a fair old reload time. No sign of incoming fire from the battle cruiser yet, so we don't know how far away they've they've gone. Uh, I'm also, I guess slightly more tempered in my expectations of how many victory points this will give me. 
But I guess we shall see. Isn't that a kind of, um, like, baked thing? A non parile or however one says that. I'm sure that is. I don't know. It's not a common word, anyway. Well, that transport's not too far from being sunk. Uh, I guess we can have this cruiser slow down a little bit, improve their accuracy. I have been, uh, I, I followed a couple of, of channels recently which are more, um, well, not exclusively uh, 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 UA Dreadnoughts. I was in naval action there. <laughs> Same company, different game. Uh, UA Dreadnoughts um, kind of focused. But, uh, uh, yeah, they're all pretty much playing with the new beta, unsurprisingly. And there's one of them, um, oh, what is it, like Stealth 17 or something like that? He's, he, he's the one that's been making very silly giant uh, pancake ships and other such similarly silly things. Right, that transport took a hit, that's good. I might have my cruiser just keep harassing this remaining group of uh, transports and then try and well, try and give the battle cruiser a go. But it depends how fast it is, because these only do not even quite thirty knots. So uh, yeah, we might not get the chance. All right, that's. Pretty much all of that group done. 14 inch guns, 30 knots, they're actually faster. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a chance here. I think we'll just hit these, uh, hit these things and withdraw. Right, he's still shooting at the, de the destroyers. I guess the AI prioritizes the destroyers because they're more, more likely to have Torps? I don't know. Also, my... I have to excuse noises, but my chair... The cylinder on my chair is basically completely knackered, so now it just sinks down constantly, which is really annoying. I'm not even sure what model of chair it is, because it's the one I won from uh, the, uh, the Warsaw event way back in 2014. So I honestly, uh, it's like it, it's, I actually went hunting for the email and it doesn't mention what model of chair it is, so I know you can get replacement cylinders, I just don't know if they are for the newer, uh, you know, a newer version of this chair, or if I, if I even have guessed the right version, like it might be a version or a style model that they don't sell anymore, I don't know. It was uh, just about eight years ago, in fact, the show match. Wow, how time flies. I do still have my badge. In fact, it's right next to me. It says Pro Player, because that's me. Was it 2014? No, it was 2016. It was 2016, wasn't it? Okay, not eight years, six years. Six years is still a reasonable amount of time, though. Right, let's see if we can have any joy. Uh, do we just pull these guys back? I guess so. I don't think we're going to get this um, battle cruiser. I think it's just going to be able to maneuver and dance out of the way. So let's set them to retreat. Hello Sam! Yes, get down! Get down! He's in full butt head mode because I won't let him go outside. Just we in the box, Samuel. Yes, just we in the box. It's not complicated. I just need you to we in the correct receptacle. Yes. And then you can go outside. <laughs> it's not, uh. 
He's not being the most cooperative right now, I'll put it that way. Right, uh, it's pretty I can't speed this up a bit, but we're too close. I think within certain ranges it, it limits how fast you can speed things up. Kind of like Kerbal Space Program, really. Right, so far so good. I mean, we've basically gotten all of the transports, I think. This was quite a good hit and run. It'd be really nice if... Uh, if we could finish off this last one. I mean, the battle cruiser actually does... Uh, outpace this cruiser so if it decides to give chase we might just lose the cruiser anyway uh, unfortunately dodged the torpedo well, that's getting a bit uncomfortably close I don't think it's interested in pursuing I think it's just uh, yeah I think we might just give the order to retreat here well I, well, I have given the order to retreat <laughs> Right, we're not going to take any of those torps, that's fine. It's almost a good thing I turned when I did, really. Rear torp launcher out, is that going to hit? Looks good. Bosh! Is that going to be a fatal amount of flooding? Well, I guess we'll see. I'm not sure what governs transports being armed or not. I, d I don't know if it's just like a random thing or if there's one of the technologies involved. I don't know. I've never had it yet be where one of my own convoys has got um, uh, four inch or three inch guns or whatever. Right, so we got away, we sunk all but one of their transports and got some victory points. Not very many, though. But it's still more victory points. They're ahead still slightly. Let's click next turn. Right, they've completed construction of some ships. Um, probably want more destroyers and light cruisers. But we do have a bunch that are being constructed. So we've got a bunch of destroyers that are being constructed and light cruisers that are going to come online at some point. What are the finances looking like? We might actually... Uh, did I set any of those? I don't think I did. The 16-inch um, gun, the slow ones. Should we have a pair of those? And hopefully that doesn't completely wreck my finances. No, that's fine. So where do we want to put those? Um, we'll have those both be fleet in being, I guess. And where has got the tonnage? Emden? Yeah, let's put them in Emden. Poor Sam. I'm very cruel, you know. Right, Let's see what missions we have. We have no missions. We have no missions at all. Okay. We might even. Uh, 24 months. We might even put our research, our tech budget back up a bit, see if we can afford that by a few points. There we go. Next turn. And again, no missions, huh? July! Point defence. The enemy's threatening Emden. Okay. Uh, well, we do not have a lot of forces right now. We do have the battleship. Uh, so we have like a, a, a big gun advantage, but... Um, we'll have to see how this goes. Um, I've never... I don't quite understand the purpose of like... You can click the delay button. And I think that just means that you can um, 
like it, it, it isn't then a forced battle, a forced engagement. But I'm guessing it would be bad if I uh, tried to not do that. But I, I don't know if there's some way to then get extra forces involved, or if that's just kind of automatic. No, we have a lot of stuff parked up at Keel. Maybe I should move some uh, heavy cruisers. Shall I move some heavy cruisers to... I wonder if stuff when it repairs goes to Kiel, because sometimes when stuff repairs it doesn't go back to the port it started at. Uh, so right click and let's have... Uh, Let's move those. Probably move a battleship to, or maybe more battle cruiser. Let's just move. Oh, we could do one of each. And we don't have any of those at uh, any battleships at Wilhelm Well, Wilhelmshaven. So maybe, maybe two of the remaining battleships to there, Hildebrand and Hanover. Hamburg's still got a bunch of port capacity as well. And we'll also just check there's nothing funky going on over there. Also, I forgot to mute my phone. Well done me. Wow, I am popular. Let's mute that. Sometimes I remember to put on the do not disturb mode, and other times I don't. It's a pity Sam doesn't have a do not disturb mode, but uh, yeah, that, that feature has yet to be uh, developed for cats or dogs. So we're going to convoy, uh, convoy defence. We're very much on the defensive here, okay. So we have convoy defence and we have port defence. Let's do the convoy defence first. Right. This is a bit more even. So, we just have to be super careful about, uh, which I clearly wasn't last time, about um, letting my battleship get close enough to... Uh, one of, those, one of their heavy cruisers so that it could just punch through the armour and unfortunately cause an explosion. Which then sank the ship. And this thing does not go particularly fast. I mean, there were still slow battleships around in this period, but it was also, you know, ship, ships of the 20s were starting to get towards 24, 25, 26 knots. There were some around that were faster, but they were still definitely in a minority at that point. Okay, we have been spotted. And we'll take them... Uh, Guess off to one side. Okay. First thing that's been spotted is a destroyer. And there's two heavy cruisers there as well. Nice. It's a good hit from somebody. Can I? shift that can I have these no apparently I can't rearrange them like that you can like drag that I discovered that that's probably the easiest way to to uh, shift groups around so you can drag them like that you can drag the cards on top of each other but uh, yeah if I want to rearrange the order I don't know that that's a thing I can do 
Right, we kind of want these guys to go for... We'll take, oh, we'll take the risk and put on the Avoid Torps flag. Battleship's already on fire and taking some damage. Much like World of Warships, HE spam is actually a viable strategy in this game. There was, uh, whoa, that's quite the spread. Oh, can we actually react to that? I don't think we can. Oof. It's the problem with trying to speed things up. You just, you, yeah, you miss. You miss things. And uh, I don't think that cruiser is. Oh, that's going to take another one. Yeah, that cruiser is completely balked. Rip. Uh, well, we just have to retreat you if possible, I guess. That was me thinking the risk would be to my. Uh, yeah, you can't really tell what something has uh, tagged onto on, up until, you know, the torpedoes are in the water kind of thing. Well, that is annoying. Very annoying. Speed things up a little bit there. Yeah, it, I would at least appreciate the option of um, like when you get the, the little warning sign for torpedoes spotted in the water if it was maybe a little more prominent or if the trails were a bit more prominent or if the warning lasted a little, a little longer. Okay, understandably that could be seen as making things too easy but if that was there as a, you know, a difficulty option for the game of... Uh, like, because uh, if you know the torpedoes are there, you can always see the trails. But sometimes spotting the trails amid the waves is uh, kind of tricky. Now that destroyer is almost done. And that is uh, unfortunate. This, this destroyer isn't going to take too much longer. I think they've got another destroyer out there somewhere, or is it a light cruiser? I don't know if we know yet. If I'm correctly, these had 9 inch guns, yes. Also, they do have torpedo tubes. Oh, ammo debt. i tell you what would be neat, and I don't know how practical it would be, but who here ever has played, uh, um, oh, the Star Wars uh, Empire at War? Is that the one I mean? The Star Wars one, the strategy thing. I'm sure it's Empire at War. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that had like a in-battle kind of... Uh, cinematic thing so if, if if things were going all right you could uh sort of sit back and just enjoy what was what was happening get a, 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 a bit janky but a fairly entertaining still view of uh of the action across the battlefield it definitely worked better with the space battles than it did with the ground battles though That game still has an amazingly active modding community. It's like nearly 20 years old. When did that come out? I swear that came out in... God, was it like 2006 or am I thinking of some other game that came out in 2006? I know it's been a while. Maybe it was a little bit later than that, but it's still not exactly a spring chicken. Right, how are we doing with these? I have about a minute and a half left. I can't fault the torp armament on these things, but yeah. 
speed wise they could definitely be better these are light cruisers or more destroyers? These are light cruisers. Okay. But they also have got plenty of torpedoes. Okay, which launchers are actually loaded? Those ones. Yep, the curse of the uh, top avoidance flag. Right, there's a bunch of torpedoes out. It's one area where the AI will always have the advantage because the AI can't get distracted in terms of torpedo avoidance, whereas a player can miss things and can get distracted. It's one of those slightly area, uh, trickier areas of game design of, you know, balancing it between making it too easy for the player and uh, too hard. And of course, what's easy for one player might not be easy for another. Right, you want to be firing at the closer target, my friend. My transports are all in a bit of a gaggle, but yeah. Unfortunately, that avoided all the torps. Let's have them pull back a little bit till they have their smoke available once more. I don't think we've had any decently big hits from the battleship yet. Now that's completely out of torps. That one still has torps, and I bet their light cruisers still have torps. They are about to have smoke back. Not actually switch to. <laughs> wow, that didn't take a lot, but you know, destroyers. Yeah, I think we'll have to set another light cruiser or two building after this. It's a good thing we have some in the pipeline as it were but yeah that's still quite the build delay oh right this is going to take some torpedoes nice even even though this game is kind of janky <laughs> in a lot of ways like there's, there's, there's definitely still a lot of rough edges here even if it has come on a long way um, it definitely scratches an itch for me overall. Like one of my favourite parts of Hearts of Iron has always been the naval stuff, especially since Man the Guns and uh, the the kind of differing mod stuff that went around that. Um, which, uh, yeah, I think there was, was a mod I featured way back, which was basically like a vastly expanded on the man the gun stuff and then uh, of course uh, you know different versioning stuff happened but fortunately that mod then kind of got incorporated into the black ice mod which just adds a it just adds complexity basically and so some of it some of the black ice mod is a bit too fiddly for me but I just I just love the the naval stuff and it's like, well, you get to design the ships in this game and then you get to actually see the ships fight and it's not just the little battle screen that you have in Hearts of Iron. Right, that is so nearly done. My destroyers are definitely hurting for, maneuver for maneuverability. Let's see if we can finish off that uh, that heavy cruiser. It's hard to tell how these are doing. Is this... 
There we go. Is this like perma flood damage? Are these just now crippled in terms of speed? Don't know. Right, they're out of torps, so that's fine. I can take out a pair of heavy cruisers and a pair of light cruisers. That will make up for having lost a light cruiser for sure. Right, let's put out torpedoes. We just have them. Oh, that's going to sink. No smoke. Right, let's have that turned off because I do not want to accidentally torpedo the uh, the Hanover. Right, there goes that destroyer. I have no idea if they're going to be able to repair even one engine there. As long as I can come out ahead on victory points, and certainly not losing any transports will help that a lot. Ooh, nice, 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 nice! Big hits. Having said, don't get close, that's exactly what I've ended up doing. Let's try and uh, increase our angle a bit, shall we? Fortunately, they're not firing at me, they're still trying to hit this destroyer that's limping away. That's almost done. Fresh flooding. Flooding in the bow. Nice, right. I'm going to have to be a little careful. These cruisers carry a lot of torpedoes. For some reason the AI's decided to split the attention between the two of them. I don't know if it's just the secondaries had a better shot at... Uh... don't know. Right, let's stick that back on... So there's a possibility of putting torpedoes in that direction. And I guess we'll just focus all firepower here. Probably don't have a good chance of hitting anything right now with this smoke being in play. Yeah, it was unfortunate me losing that light cruiser so early, but... Uh, I'm th feeling okay about this still. I mean, there is absolutely the possibility for this to all go completely horrendously wrong. But hopefully it won't. Let's make a hard turn here. Well, neither of them actually have put out torpedoes, so maybe they don't think it's a good angle. We're within range. Oh, let's set you as the target. Oh, right, yes, you've put out torps. It does feel a little... Oh, no, he's put out torps that way. Not cheaty exactly, but a bit... Mm, you know, <laughs> that you can see exactly what the status of the torpedo loading of enemy ships is. If it were one of warships that would be considered a cheat mod. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that's the destroyer going down. Right, uh, it's now just down to the battleship, which ain't ideal. I kind of wish we still had that light cruiser in play be uh, even more cautious about torpedoes now given that this is the last ship barring the transports. Yeah, our accuracy ain't that good. Oh, 
Kind of will reload is. Uh... Oof! I mean, I guess it's triple turrets. I, I, I wonder if it's using heavy shells or, or if it's something to do with propellant being used that's meaning the uh, the reload is that bad. But yeah, that that's that's terrible. 107 second reload. Yikes. I didn't even notice how bad that was before. I'm not sure how big of an effect crew training has on stuff like reload. I, I don't know if it does. I think that's purely the outfitting of the ship. Crew training seems to much more be um, a part of uh, stuff like how, how well your damage control functions and uh, how ooh, damn uh, how um, sort of what kind of bonus your 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 gunners will have and ugh another one right in the bow yeah that's gonna cause a perma flood yeah we have we have the difficulty of I need to get closer so my guns actually have a chance of hitting but at the same time all of these nasty spiky torpedoes are in play. Oh, like straighten up actually, we don't want to be all slowing down in a curve. God, how do you have so many torpedoes? Well, they inflicted some damage, but yeah. <laughs> Some proper torpedo beats right here. Oh god. Eww. Eww. Ooh. It's fine. It's fine. Never worried. Oh, that was some damage, but uh, yeah, could could be better. Could definitely be better. No perma flooding there yet. That looks like it's got some perma flooded sections. We'll just wriggle away from that one for the time being because they've that double engine knockout looks like it's permanent so uh, we can come back to the oh yes there we go nice okay that simplifies things only having one target left to deal with we have a long reload and may not have the best accuracy but 15 inch guns still Ooh, hurt we're gonna get past those I hope so straight line speed up don't be slowing down in the turn, please. Right, that's fine. They're not going to be anywhere close to hitting. Well, I think we're going at the max speed that we can go at the moment anyway with the, the flooding in the barrel that we have. This also looks like it's about to sink. Right, okay. I mean, in terms of losses... Cruiser and two destroyers is not nice, but they lost two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, and a destroyer. And also far more crew. So, yeah. Also, we didn't lose any transports, which is also very handy. Right, so, uh... I think we're going to need some replacement boats, so... Let's get another pair of those going, and I guess another light cruiser. I mean, it does give me uh, an excuse to build the newer versions of the ships to replace the older ones with the newer ones, but the downside is, of course, you're losing crew, and that's not so good. Let's stick all these in, Emden. Uh, do we want to put these on sea control? I think we probably do. Right. So, then we have this port strike to try and defend against. Uh, which I think we might be able to do, but we'll see. 
finally got the one battleship in this fight. Three heavy cruisers though, as well. Right, spotted to the west. And okay, that's awkward. They're on the wrong side. We have one destroyer to work with. Okay, let's see how this goes. They obviously see me already, but hey, it's a battleship. I don't know that there's any kind of firing debuff to visibility in this game. You can just tell what direction something is, is uh, in by, you know, it firing at you, but um, yeah, it doesn't make stuff easier to spot necessarily. Right, these cruisers are going to be doing a merry dance around each other, I'm sure. Let's, uh, let's turn hard away. Um, do we just want to YOLO in the destroyer? Turn almost perpendicular to our course, I think. Right, so, uh, light cruiser, light cruiser, destroyer. The light cruisers are almost more worrying than the destroyers. The destroyers just kind of have, what, one or two loads of torps, whereas the light cruisers. <laughs> It's less torpedoes all at once, but they're dangerous with the torpedoes for longer. That is... Ooh, if I can bait them into firing some at the uh, destroyer, actually, that's probably not a bad idea. Right, are you going to... let's try and wiggle in between those two. Yet more torpedo beats. So have you smoke? Yeah, having destroyers act as literal torpedo bait is is probably not a bad way to do things actually. If you have one available, because they're that like if you get hit, then okay, uh, that's that. But um, they're also by far the most manoeuvrable ships you're going to have. Generally speaking, all oh, that groups there is a bit of a bit of a worry. E okay, this might just be too many torpedoes to dodge from too many different directions at once. Right, that is nice. Fairly substantial damage on that light cruiser. Jeez, that's a lot of torpedoes. I'm absolutely micromanaging this one destroyer at the moment. I bring us waves of torps going after my other. Maybe we can pause and check how the others are doing. Uh, I don't know that anyone's. I think the torpedoes are the uh, are the biggest damage that I've done to anybody so far. Yeah. Right, all three launchers. Currently loading that that cruiser looks like they're in serious trouble. Okay, that destroys out of torps. Yeah. In fact their destroyers seem to have a single torp load, so they must be uh, they must be using the reduced torpedoes setting. If they only have you know, if they're just one and done kind of thing. Let's turn around again. Right, that is some um, Taffy 3 levels of, well, not quite. There's no Yamato <laughs> levels of battleships involved, but yeah, that, that destroyer crew is, is uh, having an interesting time right now. Right, are you all focused on that? Okay, good. More torpedoes out. Uh, 
Uh, let's set those torps to off for now. Let's see if we can't get closer to that other cruiser, for example. That would be a good target. That other light cruiser. I don't think they've got anything bigger than a light cruiser in this in this group. Who's firing at you? The battleship. Yes. Those torps don't look like they'll hit anything, but that's fine. It's almost like World of Warships, sometimes the ability to uh, make, or, you know, forcing people to have to maneuver is, uh, yeah. <laughs> High Flyer! <laughs> wow. Q Obi Wan Kenobi going, now there's a name I haven't heard in a very long time, or whatever the actual quote is. I should watch Star Wars again, it's been too long. I watched the prequels a little earlier in the year. Or re-watched them. And I also finally saw episode... Uh, nine? Yeah, episode nine it would have been. And was uh, as thoroughly unimpressed as everybody else. But man, the prequels are... Uh, they're not bad actually, you know, well, they have the definite, uh, um, like there are, there are many things to criticise about them, but they're still overall pretty decent films, pretty decent Star Wars films even. They absolutely could have been better, but uh, compared to the, the sequel trilogy, yeah. I haven't watched any tops yet. I should check in on my destroyer, actually. Oh, yeah, see, because I wasn't paying attention, because I wasn't micromanaging. He's taken a, uh, a nasty hit. Oh, well. Yeah, you really do have to micromanage sometimes, and if you get distracted looking at other things or talking about other things. Yeah. And the AI control that you can put them under just isn't really good enough. Like I can try putting them... Uh, ooh, on... Uh, it? Yes, there we go. I can try putting them on screen. Uh, but I don't think they're actually going to live long enough. That's fine. Oh well. You still absolutely get the best results if you can just manage everything um, more or less individually, but then that has its own downsides. Not having AI, either friendly or enemy, be effective is usually one of the weak points of games generally. There are many, many examples of games where terrible AI has... Uh, a rather negative impact on things. Right, why are you going overall? They're out of... Yeah, the destroyers, I think... Unless there's a destroyer left that hasn't put its torps out, but I think the destroyers are a spent force in terms of their actual danger. Right, uh, we might oh, we might have to slam the brakes on there actually, and hope that we slow down enough in time, because I don't think we were going to outturn these. Uh, no, no, we're not slowing down enough. In fact, that might actually have caused us to eat the torpedoes when we. Otherwise, we might not have eaten the torpedoes. But never mind. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Like that's going to be the third destroyer that we haven't seen yet. This also is that a heavy cruiser? We absolutely cannot afford to lose our battleship if we want this to be a successful mission. Go on, spank those cruisers.
I mean, ideally, you'd be able to effectively um, use these things and then just, like, have control of your capital units and be confident of the behavior of the AI-controlled units, but you absolutely can't be. <laughs> you really can't. Uh, I think we'll probably have some kind of significant 12% you know, damage instability. Also have some penalties from Cloud. I'm not sure why Morning counts as uh, a penalty, but I'm guessing it just lower light levels? I don't know. Like, come on, smack, smack the light cruisers, smack them, smack them real good. I mean, we got torpedoes into that one, but it did not sink, sadly. I would actually hate, and it's kind of sad to say this, but I would actually hate having to manage an engage, uh, like Jutland's sized engagement. That would be. Painful. Really, really painful. I mean, I don't know, the AI might do a good job of mimicking how... Uh, uh, <laughs> competence! I was just searching for the word there. BT was, but uh, yeah. There we go, that looks like it's going to go down soon. Let me switch focus to the heavy cruisers. Well, they're almost in a line right now. Sorry, Pi Flyer, but you know, I have to do it. Oh, torpedo incoming, well, that's not going to even be close, that's fine. Come on, just sink! So tantalizingly close to, uh... Yeah. I'll maybe switch their focus. Ooh. Right, let's turn it off. Why are you turning that way? Because... Because the pathfinding is weird. Or pathing, or whatever you want to call it. Is pathing the same as pathfinding? I don't know. Probably makes slightly more sense to say pathing than pathfinding. Come on! Sink! Sink, High Flyer! Sink! You're so close. But not close enough. That is the most irritating thing when you get a ship that just just won't go down. It just won't. Is that going to be a perma flood section? I think so. It'd be nice if you like when it's flooded fully. You can't tell, but yeah, if it's not being pumped out, then I guess it must be. All right, let's have a crack at this heavy cruiser. It doesn't have any torps left, so that's fine. Uh, that destroyer does. And it looks like they actually have a reload as well. Oh, no, wait, they don't. They've got... Yeah, no, no, no. So, yeah, their destroyers only have a single load. I thought it was a single quad launcher, but it's not. It's two... Right, they're on fire a bit. We want to speed this up a little. Oh, top it! Oh, where did that come from? I missed that. That must have been from the uh, the Australia. E, that's not so good. Hasn't done any additional damage to engines, but yeah, we now have some bow flooding, so that's going to slow us down even more. Right. 
Right, you better not eat any of these torpedoes. No, they're way off. Ooh, that's gonna be from the uh, from the destroyer. Yeah, torpedoes are uh, one of the reasons why I've been like, the, the earlier campaigns were actually comparatively, or the earlier uh, you know tech levels were, uh, or uh, you know, do you know what I'm trying to say? The earlier time date things, words were comparatively easier because um, the torpedoes were a lot more short range and torpedoes are the real menace in, of this game as they were in real life I suppose and still are they uh, absolutely can be lethal especially with the we're, we're at that stage where we don't really have good anti-torpedo bulges or anti-flooding techs or anything like that but um, the torpedo ranges are starting to get more and more effective, so yeah. Yeah, that's seriously limping at this point. Still afloat, but yeah, that's some heavy, heavy damage. Um, let us put our. Secondary fire on that destroyer. Oh, I'm also going to have to turn that top avoidance back on. Although, is it just me or does that more look like a shell rather than a torpedo? Anyway. Well, those ones are both empty so that's fine. absolutely do not want to lose another destroyer. Right, you better avoid this torpedo. Friedrich Karl. Because I can't command your individual course. Because the game don't work that way. Right, yes you did. Well done. And then I guess we can turn that off again because they're all out of torpedoes now. Yes, right. That's fine. Right, so the the Aegea is pretty beat up. And I think the Friedrich Karl must have taken a torpedo. Yes, but overall, um, yeah. The most dangerous period of this engagement has basically finished. So if we can get down that heavy cruiser then it's just the, the, the weak firepower of the destroyers that's left to deal with. You do still have some torpedoes left somehow. I should actually focus that. Have you not fired them all already? I don't know. Unless the launcher got destroyed, it's possible for a launcher to get destroyed but to still have ammo. That might be why it's showing us still having torpedoes. Because uh, for some reason, especially with torps, you know, there can be two launchers of the same torpedo size but they don't they, the, the crew don't shrug their shoulders and go okay we'll take that torpedo over to one of the other launchers then and it works exactly the same way with um, different sizes of turrets you can have a, a twin 15 inch and a triple 15 inch and their ammo supplies are entirely separate and if one runs out of ammo but the other still has ammo even though it's the same 15 inch shells, they can't take some from one to the other because uh, video game logic. Right, we're just heavily focusing uh, destroyers now. 
We could go back to the, the cruiser, but the destroyers are the closer things. A red Gauntlet, Nat, Ursula, North Star, Vega. I presume most, if not all, of these would have been actual names used by the Royal Navy at some point. So the secondary is Pew Pew, the closest thing. Right, are you still focused on the cruiser? Yes, but it's also now horrendously slow in the water and uh, yeah the penalties are rather outweighing whatever bonuses we might have oh did you just ram oh it's hard to see because it's getting absolutely pummeled so it may have skirted past the uh, the front of the Lutzau. We'll never know. Right. Not sure if that was it or if it was just a near miss. So that's basically the heavy cruisers clearing things up at this point or mopping things up. So yeah let's uh, let's put the speed up a bit. There is that one cruiser that was damaged down there somewhere but I honestly don't know exactly what direction that's going to be in so we won't worry about that too much but yeah well, I think we've we've defended ourselves reasonably well I mean we have one rather heavily battle, uh, damaged battleship although the the actual structural damage is only 71 percent it's the um the flooding that's making it look a lot worse but we'll also have to repair the engine in the rudder so that's probably still two or three months of repair time not having a good day yeah having only lost a destroyer of my own I, I, I mean I would have liked to have kept it alive a bit longer it's kind of my own fault for not properly micromanaging it but yeah having lost a destroyer that's uh, that's an acceptable loss for all the ships that we've managed to sink in return right so then it's just the Ursula and the Australia and whatever cruiser that was that we left semi dead in the water <laughs> this task force is not having a good day. I did also, I mean, when I uh, started the campaign, I did also um, up the difficulty a bit, didn't I? So there might be a little jump just then. OBS crashed, which is kind of unusual. Don't know what prompted that, but uh, yeah, I may have lost a little bit of footage there. Hopefully not too much. And uh, if I have, well, you can see how this battle's going. We've almost basically got this finished. Yeah, that really is very unusual. Your OBS is normally quite stable. And the fact that I, that I got up and got myself some more water and whatnot has prompted the cat to also. Yes, hello, Sam. Yes. Did I get up and start doing things? And you took that as a prompt to start making noises at me. Anyway, cats. What are they? Can we stop them? And should we even try? Probably not. Yeah, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna be going too much longer. We just have to get this this cruiser down in fact i'll tell you what we'll just uh deliberately jump forward a little bit here and uh yeah 
make you not have to endure me sitting talking to my cat because that's so entertaining right <laughs> sure all right this thing is taking an absolute battering but i think we are about to flood it out yeah there we go we could go hunting that one last oh there's actually two light cruisers left but yeah I think that's a good point to uh, wrap up that battle and also wrap up this video. There we go, a nice solid chunk of victory points. We're actually starting to pull ahead now quite nicely. That was a good couple of a good couple of turns overall. So yeah, we've got a lot of ships being built, a couple of ships being repaired. Um, budget is in the positive. I thought we overall still have the bigger fleet. So, yeah, they have more destroyers than I do, but that's about the only thing. Be nice. I, I don't know if they ever plan to add any kind of um, intelligence gathering aspect into this game, but that would be interesting if you could um, peek into what the enemy's techs are, what kind of uh, ship designs they have. maybe even steal enemy technologies that would be uh yeah an interesting dimension anyway i think we'll wrap things up there and uh yeah hopefully you have enjoyed this latest installment because it does seem to be doing a lot better than most of my non-warships videos do so if you have enjoyed it you can do all the usual things down underneath the video and of course as always stay tuned for more